Don't leave me hanging. It's go time. Hey everybody, this is Josh, and welcome to Game 1 in a Best of 5 series being played between Root Druby. I'll go ahead and put up those nameplates so you guys can see it a little bit clearer on the stream. Root Druby is our red turn up here in the top left corner of TSL3 slash GSL Crevasse. I think all the TSL maps are GSL maps anyways. Just make NASL version. Whatever, that's fine. Both of these guys are in the North American Star League. Not dead set on the maps, so they requested that we play NASL maps instead of TSL maps. We'll we'll just work with them on that. But Star Life from Complexity Gaming is going to be our green Terran down here in the bottom right position. So we have cross position TVT on a very large map. Actually, it's kind of a uh, maze-like map if you're not too familiar with Crevasse. They have this sort of backdoor mini expansion with only six mineral patches and a Vesping geyser. Not even a rich geyser, just one regular old Vesping geyser. Their ramp here has some destructible debris that they can choose whether to clear away or not when they build bunkers and barracks and things around the back of it. There are more destructible rocks sort of scattered throughout the map. There's a third right here that is pretty easy to take but kind of hard to defend, so we'll see if either of those guys actually go for it. But a couple of Terran versus Terran strategies. Well, there was the Iacoic build that sort of faded out, actually uh, came out really strong. It was all Banshees and Hellions, just pure DPS and TVT. It was actually pretty hard to stop if you did build any support units like Medivacs and things. But uh, it's kind of fallen out of favor, so we'll see if these guys switch it up into just Bio, just Mech, whatever they're going to do. Both players probably are going to mirror each other in that production tab for the first few minutes. You might even see a scouting reaper out of one player or another as they, that cliff hopping can actually cut that travel time on crevasse by quite a bit. Stalife is going to be the only one to scout. Looks like Druby might just be waiting for that SCV to arrive so he can try to figure out where his opponent is actually coming from. Again, production tab still very, very close. Druby is actually not building that first marine, so it is looking likely that, yep, he'll come up here and expand. You can see that SCV clicking around there, uh, saving up that 400 minerals. Star Life doesn't know when Druby is going to scout, but he will have a marine available by the time Druby does reach him. Both those scouting SCVs bump right into each other. Of course, they don't know just based off of that where their opponents are. Star Life also expanding very quickly, and that's something you would expect on this map just because this sort of backdoor expansion is so easy to hold. It's only a double wide ramp leading into your main. That's the only way in other than air. So you can just throw up a couple of turrets and effectively be pretty safe. Siege tanks can't really reach this from the super low ground, anything like that. So this is basically a freebie and it does promote a bit more uh, macro oriented style of play. So Stalife's going to get in here, check everything that Druby's got going on. He'll see only one gas. That first marine for Druby was built after the command center was actually completed and still came out on time to start shooting at this SCV. So perhaps Stalife uh, had a little bit of an inferior timing there just because Druby is going to have that command center done a few seconds earlier and he still had that marine on time. But yep, Stalife just confirming everything that we already knew. Druby expanding over here in this backdoor expansion. Now he's probably going to have a short rest of his life here. Uh, now this marine is just going to gun him down in cold blood behind the mineral patch. There's a tech lab up for Druby. Still no research being done. He doesn't have very much gas to work with yet. Is throwing up that second refinery now. Stalife doing the same, getting his second refinery up. Still no add-on on this barracks, just making one marine at a time, trying to get his economy fully working here. He's got an idle SCV, which I'm sure he's going to be mad at once he finally realizes that there it is. Orbital commands coming up for both players. Right now they're just giving each other some space, giving each other some time to get into whatever build order they are going to try and execute here. Druby is getting up to three barracks now off of uh, two bases, and Stalife back at his main is getting up a factory, so we are going to see some divergence. We've got Stimpak researching pretty quickly here for Druby. Stalife going for a bit tech heavier build. Not sure how many factories he's actually going to end up with. It looks like Tank Marine right now. He, there's no real aggression or anything yet, but it uh, could just be a matter of time until he gets out those first couple of tanks. Could have quite a lot of Marines by then. Two more barracks being plopped down on the ground. If Druby builds a factory now, these guys will basically be dead even, except Druby will have the stim pack timing on his side, and Stall Life will still be a bit farther uh, away from that completing. Factory coming down for Druby. So yeah, both of them are going to have their three barracks and a single factory. They're just taking different routes to get there. Stall Life is going to be the first one to get a tech lab up here on his factory. So Siege Tanks, of course, going to be possible now. Is he researching Stimpak? Yes, he is. Here it is. 
uh, Tech Lab on his barracks. He's getting a starport up as well. I don't actually see where that starport is. Here it is. Tucked in with this natural Druby. He will have his factory done here soon and can start getting a uh, starport of his own. Dropping double engineering bay right now. So we have seen this a few times in Protoss matches recently where players will go for these fast double upgrades. TVT could be popular now. I'm actually not too sure. It's been a while since I've cast some high level Terran versus Terran. So uh, we'll see if Stalife actually opts for the same sort of thing, or if he just makes one engineering bay, that would probably be good as well. So he could just try to keep up with Druby's double upgrades. What's coming up here now? Double reactor on these two barracks. So Tank Marine, essentially uh, Stalife's entire build order. We'll see if he's actually got a third base in his plan either. Uh, Druby actually doesn't look like he cares too much about a third base just yet either. Both players sitting at the exact same supply, 46 over 46. Stalife is going to get up there just a smidge earlier with um, that extra supply depot. Other than that though, everything looking very very even still. Uh, plus one attack coming for Druby, plus one armor like you would expect with those double engineering base combat shield, and Druby is actually building a command center here. It looks like he is eventually going to want to float down to this third base while Stalife still has not indicated that he's going to try and expand again at all. He's making just one tank at a time here. He's got three barracks worth of marines churning out of here. A second factory coming up now. He will be able to uh, just plop onto this tech lab once Stimpak is done researching. We'll see if he actually goes for that or not. Marines just positioning here. No need to build any turrets if you've got enough marines uh, and scan saved up in case any sort of banshees show up. I do have to notice though, neither player really doing a ton of scans or scouting at all. Uh, looks like Stalive did actually drop a scan here at some point when that factory was still building. Let's go ahead and take Druby's vision here and see what he knows out of Stalive. Yep, he must have dropped a scan as well to see those three barracks and single factory, but he is a little bit behind on knowing about this whole expansion and starport area back here. SCV scouting for Druby once again, just checking this third location very quickly, not going to find anything. He is actually starting to move now as well with a lot of marines. we got 17 marines and two medevacs overhead. Will he load those up and try to do some drops? It looks like Stalife is waiting for it. He just he wants Druby to actually try and do a drop back there so he can try and pick off that medevac and take no damage, but Stalife starting to move through the middle of the map here as well with a handful of units. Uh, he does take that Zelnaga Tower and seize these forces. Actually, that's Druby taking the Zelnaga Tower, so Stalife just jumping around in his medevac. Oh no, Druby stims and it looks like both players are going to have a confrontation here. Stalife might not be ready for it, though. Actually, he does load up and tries to run away. Doesn't make it, so loses six, I believe, six or seven Marines there in that medevac. So Druby already with a massive pickup, and you can see that reflected very clearly in the supply count up at the top of the map. So that was just a huge, huge loss for Stalife already. He's got a lot of Marines hanging out still by his back door. He's got some siege tanks waiting at his front door. Druby still just churning out marines after marine. He's got plus two weapons and armor coming along now, and five marines, two medevacs at a time coming out of here, just going for mass marines. Druby actually tested the water here with an empty medevac so that he would not lose any units. That's actually very, very smart thinking there, as Stalife was ready for it. Uh, if he had sent a full medevac, he possibly could have lost a lot more. Actually, he didn't lose anything, so it's obviously great micro there from Druby, but... Um, very smart thinking, because if a couple of turrets had been there as well, he would have definitely lost that medevac. A couple of tanks sitting around for Stalife. We'll see if they ever actually get into the action. He's actually got six tanks right now, two factories with Tech Labs cranking out tanks one at a time. Two more barracks being added on now. Still no third commands. Oh, here it is. Actually about halfway done. Druby just finished his over at his third. Plopped that guy down. Got an orbital command up, so his economy has to be looking pretty good. Let's just take a glance here. What are they doing? Oh, they're breaking down the destructible debris. Okay. So, Druby actually slightly ahead on that mineral income. It looks like Harvesters. He's only got two more, but that saturation is so much better there. And he has those three orbital commands able to drop mules while Stalife's still working off of just two bases. His upgrades are going to be very superior here soon at plus two, plus two, while Stalife is just now working on plus one. It's only about halfway done. Five more Marines, two more tanks coming out. That command center... Uh, did get finished up, but it's still just sitting there idle. He's building another one. He's building a fourth command center, but his third is not even being used. Still, I ferried up two marines just so he could try and take over the Zelnaga Tower. But Druby actually had the superior upgrades there and managed to kill one of Stalife's two marines. Siege tanks on the low ground. I like that. He's got six of them. Actually, seven. Sorry. The destructible debris was taken out here on this ramp, so they're clearing out paths for a little bit further on into this game. Druby now switching gears himself, getting Siege Tech Research Vehicle Weapons Level 1. 
the armory for stall life a little bit slower so he's um, still going to be behind in those upgrades even with his mech that he had out sooner. Two armories actually coming for stall life now so he's going to try and double upgrade his tanks. That could be interesting or if he starts uh, making some vikings here soon he'll be able to upgrade both his tanks and his vikings and uh, stall life is trying to bait Druby into this tank fire right now and it's not actually going to happen I don't think. Druby is a little bit too quick for that. He loads up his six medevacs uh, basically full of units. There is a turret and some marines here. He might be able to take out one or two of the medevacs if he focuses very quickly. He might get that second one. Well, it's still got some units in it. Yes, he does actually manage to kill a lot of those, but there are still so many units left here from Druby. He's got nearly two pages worth of marines. Uh, at least 30 marines there inside the natural of Stall Life. He is going to lose that orbital command very quickly to the stemmed up 2-2 marines, and that is just a huge pain to try and recover from. He is focusing down the medevacs here, so there will be no chance of escape for Druby's forces, but Druby's still so stemmed up, so upgraded, he might actually be able to live through this attack with a couple of marines here. Stall Life really needs to uh, get these marines up here quickly, try and finish off these forces before all those tanks go down. Very, very good attack from Druby. You can see it in the supply count. 130 for Druby, 108 for Stall Life. 75 harvesters for Druby, 47 for Stall Life. So he's already doing tons and tons of damage. Over here, it looks like he's about to press into this third, but fortunately Stall Life already has some tanks lined up. So Druby drops the scan, runs in, tries to kill off the two tanks, and actually does manage to do it very, very quickly. Stall Life suddenly looking to be in a lack of fighting units, loses that last tank, and now this third base is totally under fire. He's going to lose basically all of these workers. He just does not have enough fighting units left. Let's go ahead and look at that units tab. Three tanks and 36 marines all over the place for Stalif. Oh, Stalif actually doing a counter drop. That's why he's so empty at home, so naked looking at his third. Uh, he is, of course, going to lose that orbital command, and it didn't look like his force up there was really going to be enough to do a whole lot except kill some supply depots and some workers. So Druby is going to win that first game. That's it for game number one. Let's move into game number two, see if Stalif can come back a little bit.